Hugh Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 60, my dear and loving son John. Your good friend is gold master, Pat McNamara, is so good to write these words down. Brothers have all gone to find work in England. The house seems so empty and sad. Crop of potatoes is sorely infected. A third to a half of them bad. And your sister Bridget and Patrick O'Donnell are going to be married in June. Your mother says not to work on the railroad and be sure to come on home soon. Kill Kelly, Ireland, night, 18 and 70, my dear and loving son John. Hello to your missus and to your four children. May they grow to be healthy and strong. Michael has got in a wee bit of trouble. I guess that he never will learn. Because of the dampness, there's no turf to speak of. Now we have nothing to burn. And Bridget is happy, you named a child for her. And now she's got six of her own. You say that you found work, but don't say what kind or when you'll be coming home. Sorry to give you the very sad news that your dear old mother has gone. We buried her down at the church in Kilkelly. Your brothers and Bridget were there. You don't have to worry, she died very quickly. It's good to hear that Michael's returning with money he's sure to buy land. For the crop has been poor and the people are selling at any price that they can. Kill Kelly Ireland, my dear and loving son John I guess that I must be close to 80 It's 30 years since you've gone Because of all the money that you send me I'm still able fine house and Bridget's daughters have grown. Thank you for sending your family picture of lovely young women and men. You say that you might even come for a visit. What joy it would be to see you again. Kelly Ireland, 18 and 92, 
my dear brother John. I'm sorry I didn't write to you sooner to tell you that father passed on. He was living with Bridget. She says he was cheerful and healthy right down to the end. And you should see him play with the grandchildren of Pat McNamara, your friend. Buried him alongside of our mother down at Kilkelly Churchyard. And he was a strong and a feisty old man, considering his life was so hard. And it's funny the way he kept talking about you called for you right to the end. So why don't you think about coming to visit? We'd all love to see you again.